Welcome to another College Ghost Hunt video where I communicate with the spirits in and around the college campus. This time I'm in Wabanzi Community College in Sugar Grove, Illinois. Don't forget to like this video, leave any comments, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be releasing some really intriguing, informative, and exciting videos in the future. We are live right now at Wabanzi Community College in Sugar Grove, Illinois. Just got done speaking and we have this wonderful audience here right now. Say hi everybody to Facebook. Hi. 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 <laughs> we are going to use some of the devices I have to communicate to see if there are any spirits here. First thing I'm going to do is use my recorder for EVP. And I'm going to ask a couple questions. We're going to see if we get any responses. Now, with this, we're not going to hear what they're here, but when we play it back, we're going to listen to see if we hear any responses. 9.15 p.m., and we're in room, what is this, 206? Mm -hmm. 206. 206. Are there any spirits that are present or attached to anybody with us right now? If so, please speak up so we can hear you. Please speak to us right now. How many spirits are with us right now? Play this back. Seven. We got seven spirits here right now. That seems like a lot. <laughs> Who is carrying extra baggage? <laughs> <laughs> are any of you related to people that are in this room? If so, please say yes. Okay, I'm going to play this back. Now we're going to see if we get any acknowledgement or any responses to this. Yeah, right there, seven spirits. This response seems to be of a different dialect, possibly Indian in nature. Now, historically, this land belonged to the Potawatomi Native American people up until the mid 1800s. Someone want to ask a question? Who wants to ask a question? Anyone? Cups by the one. <laughs> Spirits, what do you think about the Cubs winning the World Series? Let's play this back, see what they say. So, yes. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to hook up the uh, spirit box, it's the SB7, and we are going to see if we get any responses. Spirit box is a device that was designed by Gary Galka as well as influenced by myself in using the radio, sweeping radios, to allow them to communicate through. This device was specifically designed to have certain features, such as speed features, so that we can test it by slowing it down or speeding it up. Now you're going to hear noise. It gets erratic and it gets disturbing with the noise. But we want to hear direct responses when we ask specific questions. I'll ask a couple questions to lead and I'll have you guys ask some questions. Keep in mind, this is very important for each person that's here. If you have a loved one that's passed on, you know their voice better than I do. You know certain things they said better than I do. So if you hear something, speak up, all right? Because what I normally do is sometimes I'll hear the responses and I'll communicate back and forth. Then I'll hear it later when I play it back. Okay? Any spirits present, please say hello. Yes. Yes, okay. How many spirits are present now? Five. Five? Okay, so there's five spirits. There's two left. <laughs> okay. Where did the other two go? Too many died? Seven? Yeah, years ago. Five or seven years ago. And there were two people that died. And two students, Spirit I believe, three. died. Okay. Spirits, are any of those souls, those spirits that passed away here, are they present? One of them? Okay, who? One of them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean by angel? Is there an angel that's coming for them right now? Chip. 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 
the name? What is interesting is Chip is the name of a childhood spirit I was friends with when I was four years old living in Salt Lake City, Utah. Are there any souls or spirits here that are related to anybody who's home? Yeah. 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 Who's yeah. dead? Was it? Yeah. I... Was it just? Hello. I didn't even ask the question yet. Right now. Right now, I know. Are you saying that he's with his mother? People. people. So there's other people. There's two more of them. Is that a spirit that's here in this building? No. Okay, who wants to ask a question? We're going to do this for a little bit and we're going to move on to another device. Could I ask if my dad is with my mom? Uh, I'm just wondering if Don Cox is with my my dad is Don. Is he with my mom, Joyce? Does that sound like him? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Voice is good. Hey. He, could be kind of, he could be humorous. All right. Well, we may have had just a response from Don going, hey. <laughs> Don, was that you? Spirits, was that Don? Okay, I'm gonna lose another box. Okay? Please. Alright, thank you. <laughs> right now, that was the SB7 full volume sweep. This is the one actually I used on Ghost Adventures. This is the AMD tuned. It's a lot cleaner. And I want to make sure that I get the volume all the way up. Hello. Okay, spirits, can I have the audience ask questions? We have per permission for this. Ask. Okay. Who wants to ask a question? Why hasn't Dennis crossed over yet? Why hasn't Dennis crossed over yet? He's asking. I'm Tim. Okay. Prison. Prison. Dennis wasn't ever in prison, was he? No. Yeah. Okay. What you just said. Why? Yeah. Okay. Tim. Just said Tim. Okay. Sounded like my brother Tim. He also passed away. Wow. Dennis is the one that just passed away a few months ago. Okay. Tam passed away a year ago. Ask. Uh, Dennis, or Tam, why hasn't Dennis crossed over yet? Why did I get the dream? So, said crossed. Said mom. Said crossed mom. Okay, Tim, you get your birds with you. So I guess he crossed with mom. Said so crossed with mom. Did he say crossed with mom? Yeah. Crossed oh. with mom. Yeah. Well, then he did cross with mom. Yeah. I had a dream that. Uh, anyway. No, no, say the dream. What was the dream? Well, I dreamt one night, literally, that I had this dream that I crossed over. Okay. My father's on the hillside. Him and I weren't. The, we could irritate each other. Anyway, so I didn't talk to him, but Mom and my aunt who passed away were together, and I was going to take the dead brother Tom to the doctor. I used to do that. So my mom's getting this thing out of the attic, which is just the hole in the ceiling, right. and showing mom. it. Yeah. Okay, showing it He's to my aunt. Confirming, yeah, your mom. Okay. No. 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 It could be her trying to jump in. Okay, showing it to that my hand saying... That sounded like your mom. And it, what? That no, it sounded like your mom. Right. That, you, what, you heard something yeah, like mom? Yeah, yeah. That sounded did. just like your mom. Right. And anyway, so she's showing my aunt, who had just passed away, this teapot, or, that is made into a lamp. And she says, Correct. when Dennis gets here, we're going to put his ashes in there. He was under. cremated. And under something. Yeah. And then there was a little boy who was standing there, which would have been my brother's son that was born dead. Okay. And anyway, in the dream, I was taking the brother Tom in an airplane. Okay. I don't like flights, by the way. Right. <laughs> and I woke well, up. Well, I said, Mom, the mom helped Dennis cross over. Good. Okay. Okay, I said, good. It's time he showed up. <laughs> was what? 
you hear that? It sounds like Tim. Yeah. Tim, you got your birds with you? You have a collection of birds. Some. Who is floating up there? Right now, female. Right up there in the upper middle corner of the room between the glass and the wall. Females pointing like trying to get your attention. Are you the only spirit here? No. Are you, you responded before I asked it. Remember I talked about telepathy? They know what you're thinking? Sure. Yeah, they will they will respond to your questions before you can get it out because you thought of it. Thank you for responding. I appreciate it. You guys want to ask a question? Um, I sense my grandma with me a lot. Is she? Yeah. Hi. Hi. What? So that's a spirit. Female spirit just come forward. What? Who are you guys talking to when you said, did he sing? Who are you referring to? Sometimes it's a clue for someone else they want to come through. Yeah. Okay. I sing a lot of karaoke. Are you good? Better. Better. Please. <laughs> They're saying better, please. Oh, you, need better. you need to get better. You need to get better. I'll it's okay, Yogi. You need to practice. Sometimes spirits will comment on things that we do. What was her name? Donna. Donna. That was your mother? My grandmother. Grandmother. The soul that was known as Donna. Donna, can you come through to speak to your granddaughter? Did you hear that? Did you hear it? it? said love. It was a female voice. It said love. Did anybody else hear that? Okay. I just heard it very clear it was a love. Like a, you're trying to get it out. Like a love. Is that the message from Donna? Yes. Okay, beautiful. So you're saying it's important that you let go of whatever you're holding on to. Quit worrying about this thing. She's fine on the other side. She says love you. But it's important for you to get some peace. You need to find peace, whatever that is. You understand this? I do. Is, it, is this the message? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. It's good. Sometimes we don't hear it, and they, they try various ways to get it to us. So this is one of those ways. All right. Thank you for that message. We got it. It's been delivered. Oh, what, that what was that? that? Was You're welcome. Nice. Woman. Woman. Yes. There's another spirit saying woman. I felt, but also thought, I heard the word hugs. I relayed that to the woman in the room. However, it was not on the recording. This was not through ITC, but a spirit delivering the word through what is called thought projection or thought transference. Did it say hug you? It sounded like it said hug or something. It said hug. So she's giving you a hug. What about her hugs? They were awesome. Anybody else got chills in this room? I'm like <laughs> shaking right now just from chills. Like my father and I played that game. Some people have butterflies, quarters, whatever. She's saying hugs, which is significant, saying she used to give awesome hugs. So she's stating that this message is her letting her know hugs, that this is real. Okay? All right. Thank you very much for the message. Okay? She had a question. Go ahead. Is Chris okay? I heard a response when you said that. So, uh, I'm not sure what that said. Did he have a trouble passing? Yes. Okay. Was it suicide or anything? It was unclear. It was unclear. The response I heard that said, save me. Uh -huh. Sorry, I talked over that. Hurts. Okay, hurts. Hurts? Yeah. What hurts? What hurts? You said save, you said hurts. Spirit. Okay, your spirit hurts. So are you saying that you're still attached here? There's something holding you back? Is that what you're saying? If so, you have to tell us. I'm shaking. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm shaking. What, what is it about the soul? What if God. Want God. Okay, want God. All right, so you want to be free. Do you want prayer? Will that help you? Any other spirits can you tell us better? All right, what I want you to do is when you're sitting here right now, I'm going to move on to another device. I just want you to say a prayer for this person, okay? Because what I'm getting is you say holy crossover, all right? Because keep saying God saves, hurts. I think it might have been something in their belief system. I, he, he died in pain. He died in pain. Okay, well, it said it hurts, yeah. Okay, so that pain could be holding him here. Okay, if he's reliving that or something like that. Yeah, yeah, pain. So what sometimes happens, it disrupts your consciousness. It hurts. Again, fragments, causes fragments. 
in the thought process that you're not able to think correctly. Okay? It's kind of like a disbursement of particles. Um, that death process sometimes will trap certain souls. This may be the case. So what I need you to do is just to say prayers for him right now while we're continuing this. And then when I'm done, when I leave, I'll do a prayers for the All right, we're going to shut this off. We're going to one more. Cheers. <laughs>
to call them to come forward to assist them. Do you understand? But what if they're not ready? Well, here's the one thing that I tell everybody, is that there's free will. You cannot force somebody to cross over to the other side. Granted. You cannot tell them, hey, you have to cross over. But what you can do is you can inspire them, you can influence them, and you can ask for others to kind of show them the way. Good spirits, I want to thank you for talking to us. Now, let me put it in the That's it. It just stopped. So if they did pass over and they're happy, then you wouldn't hear from them at all? No. Never. It's not true. Oh, Why wouldn't you hear from them? I don't know. There's no limitations. Only limitations that we set. But sometimes you will not hear from them if, by them intervening or sending you a message, could disrupt your own path and your own destiny. One thing that my father did, he never listened to music, except when he had dementia, then he started singing. But he did like World War II era music, so after he died, like six months later, this sounds strange, but I would hear music that sounded like it should be playing in a bandstand from World War II oh, era. Wow. And it, one night I was up like two in the morning and I could hear it off in the distance and I opened up the back door, which of course the neighbors would not play that kind of music. But I could never actually, I could never commit to, oh, it's that song. Right. But, and then there for a long time, it would sound like it was off in the distance, like a few blocks away or whatever. So you accepted that that was music Relating to his message. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Definitely. But it was all World War II. I'd hear marching right. bands. Right. I'd hear guys singing with it. Awesome. I would hear big band. Sure. Uh, it was I just... Believe. And then my brother, the one that died, Tom. Right. I said to him... Well, we all heard his voice. He said Tom. Right. You heard him say Tom. And at the time, I said, I was telling him about this. is on getting music, too. And I said, what are you getting? He said the Patty Duke thing. My dad used to like to watch Patty Duke when we were awesome. young. So you, you have a connection then. So I said, huh, could we switch? Because I was getting really tired of that. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you for sharing that. We sure. should, uh, if I would have known earlier, I would ask him to play some World War II music. <laughs> but um, I want to thank you guys very much. Does anyone recognize this hum? Is it significant to any song or music from the World War II era? Seems very odd at this moment. None of us noticed, and I can't tell if it was someone in the classroom. Play some World War II music. But um, I want to thank you guys very much for tonight, for coming, taking your time to come out, as well as part of this ghost hunt. Hopefully, and they did sound like something. my mother, voice like Tiffany heard said, because she heard my mother's voice too. Before. I'm still excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to close this out. Thank you, everybody, for listening. You're at Wabana. I've had a hard time saying this ever since I got booked for this event. Well, Bonzi Community College in Sugar Grove, Illinois. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Good night. Good night. Finish? <laughs>